satellites of all descriptions are constantly passing overhead. On a clear night, anyone can see them. In fact, a whole new hobby has been born. Phil, we've got uh, a pass of one of the American spy satellites in just a couple of minutes now. Right. Meet Phil and Mike, two of the world's leading amateur satellite spotters. Expect this satellite to come up in 50 seconds. It's coming up in the southwest. Satellite's 2,000 kilometers away, but closing about eight kilometers a second. Three, two, one. Yep, got it in the main camera. Ready to zoom in? Just need a bit of adjustment on the focus there. This is a spy satellite called La Crosse 5, and we can just about begin to see a little bit of structure we can usually resolve the large uh, solar panel or radar panel on this satellite. We observe this quite a bit because it's one of the few satellites that we can actually resolve some shape on. So it's one of our favourites. The orbit of these satellites is not actually published by the governments that own them, but there are a number of amateurs around the world who make observations as they go through the sky and um, with enough patience and uh, computing, you can then work out the, the orbit from those observations. But we're not actually giving away any military secrets here. No. But the Lacrosse satellite is not the only one that's been keeping them busy. We've been concentrating on the space station, which has had a continual um, construction program since about 1998, in fact. And over the last six years, they've been gradually adding to it, taking up various parts of the structure in the space shuttle cargo bay and adding the various panels and crew habitation modules to it, gradually building it up. It's really great to be able to see the space station in that detail and to, to know that not many people around the world are able to get these types of images using amateur equipment that we've got and to know that the software and so on was written by, by us as well. Recent footage shot by Mike and Phil shows the shuttle docked with the International Space Station. No other amateurs in the world have been able to create such stunning images. We're quite unique in the world in, in being amateurs and producing this quality of footage. Um, there are some semi-professional people around the world who achieve this, but um, we're leading the field for the amateur fraternity. Thank you. 